Howie Carter. Well, howdy there, viewers. Could you imagine if I was, like, country? Yeah, neither could I, but, like, it's kind of giving. Hey, what's up, you guys? It is me, Shane Grady, and welcome back to my channel. Yes! Today is a very exciting day. The queen herself, Beyonce. Yes. When you think of the word queen, who, who doesn't think of the name Beyonce? She is giving us something that will never be forgotten, that will be written about and imitated for many decades to come, centuries even. She's such a star, okay? I can never not fangirl over Beyonce. It's Beyonce! One of the songs on the album is called Second Most Wanted, and it is a duet with Miley Cyrus. Miley Cyrus and Beyonce? Why are we all not freaking out about this? Why is not the cities burning down, the world exploding? Like, I mean, this is like the most climactic moment in pop culture history in, uh, since I can remember. The Beyonce and the Miley Cyrus together. It's a cowboy cast and alpha. I have been a fan of Miss Miley Cyrus since day one. We're talking back in 06. I have been a fan of Miss Beyonce since the late 90s. Yes. Oh yes, I was that little boy who didn't understand how to do my multiplication, but I knew what I was looking at was a star. Oh, regardless, we need to listen to this collaboration. I cannot wait. I also can't wait to listen to obviously the whole album, Cowboy Carter, but we will do that later. I have to listen to this collaboration. You guys don't understand. This is like a collab that I need to keep going. I mean, it's Miley Cyrus and Beyonce. They're, they're, like, they're like the queens of my life. Come on. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Um, I don't... Mm -hmm. Holy... This is a moment that I didn't know I would ever get, so let me just take it in. Cowboys don't cry, but I'm about to. Um, I don't know why I keep talking with an accent. That's a, I don't even know what I'm doing right now. Um, uh, um.
you hearing these vocals? Oh my god. Take me to church! The Grammy is secure. Oh, oh, oh my God. Well, cowboys don't cry. Hey, hey. <laughs> That was so beautiful. Oh, my nipples just got hard. Oh, good lord. <laughs> How do you do? That was an absolute beautiful duet. But what really is catching me completely off guard, if I'm being perfectly honest with you, is how well Beyonce and Miley Cyrus's voices just flow so well together. That was not on my 2024 bingo card or my life bingo card. I mean, you have dreams of two artists that you live for collaborating. You don't ever think it's gonna happen, but when it does, you don't expect them to just sound like their voices were made for each other. I mean, their voices just complement. They just complement each other so well. I, I really wasn't kidding. They really have secured the Grammy next year. There's no way. There's not going to be a competition. That was so beautiful. I want that played at my wedding. I want that played at my funeral, and I want that played in my afterlife. You feel me? Um, wow. And that's only one of the tracks on the album. Okay. <laughs> Cowboy Carter was not here to play no games. Okay, we got it, we got it. <laughs> oh God. All right, ladies and gents. Leave a comment down below of what you thought of this collaboration from Cowboy Carter with Queen B and Miley C. I would love to hear your thoughts about this collab. I cannot say more great things about it. It is definitely just such a beautiful piece of art and I am so proud of my little Miley getting to sit at the table with Queen Bee. I mean, this is like, we're not gonna downplay this. This is like the ultimate honor of a pop star's career. Are you kidding me? To be recognized by the queen and to sound and hold up perfectly next to her, like with your talented voice and hers, like that is not an easy thing to do. That's, I mean, Miley's got balls of steel because that's intimidating as hell. And she ate that shit up. Oh my God. All right, and on that note, I hope you all have an amazing day and an even better tomorrow. Peace out, Smilers and Beehive.